Hello everyone, Bill Hood with the Trucking MBA with this week's discussion of the DAT trend lines. What we do here is we focus on how to interpret and view all the numbers that are coming at you with the goal not specifically to cover the numbers very specifically, but to discuss the trends so that you can learn how to spot hot and cold markets out there. Now if you're not using DAT, I've included a link in the description so that you can get yourself a free month and you can try it out. And if you're not getting the trend lines in your email every week, great information that comes from that. I've also included a link in the, um, in the description so you can go ahead and subscribe to that. It's free and it's a lot of wonderful information. Speaking of subscribing, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the discussions around the DAT trend lines and a lot of the other discussions we have around uh, business building. Um, Make sure you like the video and we love comments and questions as far as in, you know, on any of our videos. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk a, a little about the extra capacity that's been entering the market. We're going to dig into the load to truck ratio and how to use it. And we're going to learn why the hot topic of the week about the, the decrease in the rates is really not uh, on the week over week, over week over week numbers, I should say. Uh, is not really is much of a topic whatsoever. So first let's talk about the week over week numbers. So as reported by the DAT trend lines and uh, all that information is powered by the DAT rate view, um, the spot market loads were only down 0.8%. 8%, which that's a, a fairly uh, statistically insignificant number. The big number everyone's talking about is spot market capacity is up by 11%. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a little bit here. The van to load, um, van load to truck ratio is down by 11%. Uh, the van rates and spot market are down 1.3%. Now that's about a, a three cents. So that's not significantly, significantly important as far as when we're looking at this stuff. Uh, flatbed load to truck ratio is at uh, down 6.9% uh, and flatbed rates are, are flat. The reefer load to truck ratio is down a big 15% and the reefer rates um, are down 1.6%. I think if I remember the numbers right, that's about four cents off of, off of last week's numbers. Now the fuel price is, uh, is flat this week. So, um, so now let's talk a little bit about the week over week numbers. So the big news is the capacity. Now, we typically, when we see a capacity like we have right now where things are tight, we tend to see less trucks being posted uh, out there looking for freight because it's so much easier to get the rates that people are looking for and get the higher rates. Uh, but, um, and so when that happens, we start to see an actual increase more than, than actually is out there of the, the loads to the number of trucks because the trucks are, are not being posted out there as, as frequently. However, um, some of the smartest owner operators I know when it comes to booking freight and getting great rates and really watching the market uh, have told me that what they're starting to do is take a look if their regular customers they work with don't have uh, freight and a market they're in, they'll go ahead and post their load even if it's a hot market, not post their load, they'll go ahead and post their truck, even if it's a hot market. Um, and what they found is they're able to actually book their truck pretty quickly. So rather than maybe spend an hour, an hour and a half making phone calls and putting your rate in, what they're doing is they're spending 10 to 15 minutes taking a, a handful of calls and getting a rate that they're happy with. Now, this isn't something that I necessarily subscribe to. I, I don't believe that you're actually getting the best thing and you end up working with customers that you don't want to. One of the biggest challenges about using this post and pray method is the fact that while you're taking calls from uh, brokers you don't want to do business with, going into markets you have no interest going into, rates that you really have no interest in taking, uh, you are passing up the opportunity to call on some of the better freight with the customers that you know that are going into the markets that you want to get into. So there, there's a little bit of a, a risk when you do this, but what I'm being told out there is the market is so hot right now that uh, they're pretty much just about able to get what they, what they want uh, 
when they actually get a call. So that's a good thing. Now load to truck ratio, there's a lot of debate when it comes to talking about load to truck ratio. Uh, we all know that the same load gets posted multiple times. Sometimes it's by the same broker who's posting uh, different um, pickup and delivery city, cities and having it posted 15, 20 times out there. Uh, also, we see the same truck getting posted uh, multiple times. Some people just don't post their truck saying, hey, I'm available in Atlanta. What they'll do is they'll say, I'm looking for a load from Atlanta to Chicago, Atlanta to Dallas, Atlanta to Pittsburgh. And they'll post their truck multiple times with lanes that they're specifically looking for. Uh, the other challenge is in small markets, uh, this number really doesn't is, can be skewed by five trucks. You can see the truck to load ratio when there's only 20 loads posted in a specific market. Um, it really doesn't give you a good indication of what those numbers really look at. So you really have to dig down and look at the numbers and make sure that there's enough capacity in that market, enough freight being posted in that market to make that ratio be meaningful. But so the, the debate is these, these, rate, these truck to load ratios are not real. And I, I agree with that. They are not real. But we're, we're looking at this as an index. We're not looking at this as a literal uh, ratio that that's how many trucks are available and that's how many loads are available. Uh, this is an index. And what we use indexes for is so that we can compare uh, information. So we're going to compare our year-over-year -year ratios. We're going to compare our month-to-month -month and week-to-week. -week. This is just one more piece of um, information, another data point that smart business owners can use in making decisions when they're booking their truck. So smart business owners never use one single data point. They're using multiple data points and also a lot of, um, a lot of information, a lot of knowledge that they've gained over, over time. So that's what we want to try to help everybody out here is gain a little more insight, a little more knowledge on how to use uh, different, um, uh, different information that comes at you. So now all this information is going to make you an instant master. It's just one more piece of the pie and building your market IQ. Now DAT Trendlines is a great source of information. Uh, and as I said, we've got the link down there where you can go and subscribe to that. And we're going to be discussing more pieces every week about this to help you build up that. Next week, we're going to dig a little deeper into truck to load ratios and things to watch out for in, in the numbers. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get notified every week. Also get notified of some of the other uh, trucking MBA uh, videos that we put out there. We love your comments. Uh, give us a video comment. We love questions. And remember, be safe. And remember, nothing that is loaded behind you is worth your life or the life of others around you.